Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. This is your September um, bonus reading. And sorry, let me just turn something off here. Um, so we are going to jump right in here. You start with this Medusa card and this Queen card. It says love and prosperity. The Medusa card says jealousy leads to downfall. Uh, I'm wondering if you dealt with like a situation, um, you know, in the past where there was a kind of like jealousy or a jealous situation. And, um, you know, that's kind of like what led to the downfall of the connection. I'm not going to say that just yet because... You know, again, we, we just started, but, um, you know, it kind of looks like that to me. Um, I feel that with this reading already, uh, that you are more focused on love and prosperity. I mean, you have the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, King of Cups. You know, this looks, um, you know, this looks like you are much, much more uh, focused on, you know, kind of like positive things and not, you know, not so much uh, things like jealousy and, you know, all that other stuff, right? And um, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, it looks, it looks very good, this reading here, Pisces. So um, let's see what is going on for you. Uh, you start off with the Nine of Cups, which is great. Uh, this is coming up at just in your current general energies. And so the Nine of Cups is about... Um, kind of like feeling supported, you know, it's a card of wishes and wish fulfillment, and uh, I was t I was messing with my camera last night, <laughs> and uh, so there, there we go, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think that the Nine of Cups is talking about like wish fulfillment or fulfillment in general. Uh, you could just be focused on fulfillment in general. I mean, you have the this, you have the Empress, the Ace of Cups, and so a lot of you could be looking for uh, more fulfilling situations in your life. And again, doesn't have to be love. This could be um, pretty much anything. I also feel something here about like you seeing your value more, um, especially with that Eight of Pentacles is really saying the word value to me in your reading. You end with that Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups, he kind of values himself. There's like two ways to read the Nine of Cups. Uh, you could say that he's about to have a feast, like I always say, and the other way to read the Nine of Cups is that those nine cups behind him, he is the one that is deciding. He's like a barkeep, right? He, he is the one who's deciding um, who he's going to give those cups to or who he's going to give his cups out to. And so I kind of feel like you are seeing your value in just life in general, and you are the one that is kind of deciding who, who gets what energy, and I feel that would be very good for you. Uh, you have the King of Cups as your crossing energy. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in the Celtic Cross so I would make sure to balance your emotions. It looks like a very good reading. I just kind of get the feeling that uh, you could be worrying about some things that you, that just really don't matter, or you could be worrying about things that really aren't going to affect you. And I would be careful of the worrying. I'm pretty sure that I said I said this in your September monthly reading, just the regular old uh, monthly reading. There was like something about worrying too much about things that are, like aren't going to happen, which is very you know that's a very Pisces thing to do. Pisces is the worrier, and so I think if you're worrying, then you know that could take up brain space. I know like as a Pisces, when I worry about things. Like, like, I'll just sit there and worry about it and I won't get any work done, right? So I think that it's going to be really important for you to kind of control your worrying and maybe just tell yourself that you're worrying about things that are probably never going to happen. And this could be just about life in general. And, you know, again, this reading looks very good. So I would avoid that energy. Uh, in the area of what's on your mind, you have the Ace of Cups. Uh, the Ace of Cups could be love. Uh, you know, the Ace of Cups is also your emotions overflowing. So there could just be a lot of happiness in the month of September for you. Um, but, you know, again, I do kind of feel like some of you are thinking about love or, you know, making a love offer or receiving, maybe you're receiving a love offer and you're thinking about it. Uh, it is funny that in the area of your closest relationships, you have the two of swords. Uh, two of swords is kind of like thinking that relationships are this way or that way. And really, there might be something new or different that's coming in for you. So if you want love, you know, I feel like you could be attracting a person who is very different than what you've experienced so far. And I feel the Two of Swords is like saying, open up to it, you know, allow it to happen. Uh, next, in the area of your foundation, you have the uh, Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about carrying a heavy burden. And, um, you know, but here's, here's the thing, is that the Ten of Wands is very close to reaching his home back here. And those 10 wands represent a harvest and he planted this harvest. Like he put in the work to manifest and to grow those wands. And now he's almost at his home. The, uh, the thing about the 10 of wands is those wands are right in front of his face. And so he can't see how close he is to accomplishing a goal. And I, you also end with the eight of pentacles. Sometimes I feel 
uh, with the Eight of Pentacles that he kind of needs to like stop and look at all the work that he has accomplished so far. Uh, because when you put things into perspective like that, you realize that you're much closer than you think to accomplishing your goal, right? And so I, I think that maybe like a little bit of a pause this month or, you know, just taking some time to be grateful or to appreciate the, the work that you have accomplished would be really, really good. It's like you're, pro you know, when, whenever you're in this type of energy, I, I feel like it's like, you saying to yourself, I'm not doing enough, but really if you look at everything you did, you know, you've done a lot. And I feel that kind of like a little bit of a change in perspective uh, would be very helpful for you with that 10 of wands, but I feel like you're very close. Uh, next in the area of the past, you have this balance in the soul card. Uh, you also have the temperance card, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, the past energy is what you are moving past, and I feel that maybe there was a past situation uh, that kind of created balance in your soul or created balance in your life in general. Uh, I also, you know, it's kind of funny, this card, it reminds me of recognizing cycles. There, there are these like four boxes on this card with this clock. And I feel that a lot of you are recognizing cycles in your life. And, you know, I feel this could be very helpful for you. And, th you know, there's a million things you can do. Uh, but like I noticed, like there are certain times where I am more motivated, where I, I want to work more. So I always pay attention to those times and I do more work, right, during those times. Uh, and it kind of carries me through the times where I don't want to work. <laughs> and so if you are can recognize the cycles that you go through, I think that you it will allow you to, you know, double down on the good stuff, get rid of the bad stuff, but also maybe get more done. So I would pay attention to those cycles. Uh, you have the temperance card. I, you know, I really feel like you're done being patient. You know, even if this is talking about love, I feel like you are very patient with a person. And I, I don't think you're, it, it's not like you're not willing to give a person a little bit of time, but I feel like you are just not giving someone too much time. You know, I feel that you have found your kind of like Goldilocks zone of how much time is required to accomplish something or how much time uh, you should invest in something. And, you know, I get asked this question all the time. Like in my, in my group, Dent Makers, people ask me all the time, like how, how long should I run an experiment or how long should I do this or that, right? And um, so if you're working on a project, you know, I have a 90 day rule, right? Every 90 days, I work on like one big project or one big thing, and I give it 90 days. And if after the 90, you know, as long as it makes progress, I keep working on it. But if it doesn't make any progress at all, I trash it and move on to something else. And so, you know, I, I, that's that's just like one thing you can do. Uh, same thing with love. I feel that with love, maybe you've learned that it's like you've learned that at a certain point, you, a person has to, you know, open up or let you in and you're just like not willing to waste time anymore, which is good. Uh, next, in the area of your very near future, you have this Cancer card that says, nurture all that you love, take time to care for your well-being, and nurture the things you love. The whole entire reading is basically saying that. You have that love and prosperity, the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Empress, really good energy for nurturing what you love. Uh, you have, and it could be anything. You have this Lighthouse card that says, you're a light that can't be hidden, so don't even try to dim it for anyone. Uh, I feel like I say this to you all the time, that you are shining bright. You know, you're meant to shine in the world, and you're a lighthouse. You are like a guiding light for other people. So I feel it's time for Pisces to really step up, which I think Pisces is going to be doing over the next like 20 years or so anyway. So, you know, really not much to say there. Uh, I would say that like taking care, you have the Empress, right? So like taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, all that other good stuff is going to probably increase your prosperity. The more you take care of yourself, the better. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords. Uh, I like this because it would represent a lot of clarity, um, especially going like this. Uh, Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords to the Empress, you know, this diagonal here, it would say that you are clear now on what brings, um, you know, prosperity and abundance into your life, or you are getting clear on the work that can bring those things into your life. And so by being clear on it, you can do it and you don't have to waste your time like, you know, doing super hard work. And here's the other thing is that there's a major difference between the Ten of Wands and the Empress. The Ten of Wands is being burdened by work, doing way too much. The Empress, all she has to do is wave that scepter in front of her and the wheat in front of her will grow. She will create the abundance just by, you know, waving that scepter. So I feel for some of you, it's like you're about you're about to do, it's, it's almost like you're doing more efficient work, which is helping in a big way. Uh, next in the area of your outcome, this whole entire row, you have this reach for the moon. It says, go for it, which you, you always get something like this with me. Uh, you have this moonbeams card. It says, focus. Yeah, I definitely feel like you need to do things to, fo to focus. We're in Virgo season right now. And uh, this year's Virgo season, I think, is all about kind of like finishing up the projects that you've been avoiding for a long time. 
So if you've been avoiding finishing something or if you've been avoiding a project and you know getting it finished and putting it out into the world, I think like this Virgo season will be a great time for you to do that. And, and again, I like to remind people that even after Virgo season, it doesn't mean you should stop. It, you should keep going. So you know it doesn't mean that you know if you're watching this at the end of Virgo season that you shouldn't take advantage of the energy. I think you should. And I would really go for something uh, that is your focus. Uh, over the next few months, you have the Four of Swords, which is definite healing. I also feel that you could be getting some sort of blessing you've been praying for. Uh, there's a person blessing another person in this stained glass window here, and he is kind of like praying. So sometimes, not always, but sometimes I feel that the Four of Swords is uh, kind of talking about receiving a blessing. And, you know, I think you, if you ask for it, you will receive. So I would kind of make a wish here, especially with the Nine of Cups as well. Uh, next, in your closest relationships, you have the Two of Swords. I mean, like part of me feels that you might be a little bit more reserved at the end of the year here, uh, not just this month, but, you know, you know, in the whole entire end of the year in general. Uh, I don't really see this as a bad thing for you, Pisces. Like you might find yourself, um, you know, I, I still feel feel that you will socialize and you'll get out there, but maybe just less. And is it really that big of a deal? No. Um, you know, she has that blindfold on. And she's trusting her intuition, or she needs to trust her intuition. But I kind of get the feeling that you might be isolating yourself because you are getting more intuitive hits on things. And I would just keep trusting those intuitive hits. I also do feel love here. It'll, we're going to clarify this in a minute, and we'll see what comes up. But I do feel like there could be love coming in. And I do feel like the Two of Swords is saying you have to, you know, she's trying to protect her heart, but she has to like put those swords down to allow someone in. And so I think it would be safe for you to kind of like open up to a person. Uh, you have the Empress, and the Empress is coming up in the area of your future feelings, which is amazing, right? <laughs> uh, you're feeling very good. You're feeling abundant, successful. I feel like you're feeling like you can do work and get a result as well. Like I said, she only has to wave that scepter in front of her, and the wheat in front of her, her will grow. And it seems to me like you're doing something more efficient. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if what like what you do for work right now is is a burden, ten of wands. It, maybe you don't mind it. Maybe you're good at it. You know, the Ten of Wands isn't really a bad card necessarily. And, but I also feel that the universe is saying you, you deserve more abundance and there are better ways to create that abundance. So, you know, it's like how can you create more abundance with like less work? And that's what I would focus on uh, with the Empress. Also a very attractive at this time, Pisces, with the Empress. So I would get out there if you want love. Uh, your outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. Love it. Uh, I like the Eight of Pentacles because it just says you're putting in work and you're getting a result. You know, it's it's basically material success on the horizon. So whatever you're working on, keep going. If you have been avoiding finishing a project, keep going. Uh, I will tell you this. I'm working on another top secret project right now, and I've kind of just been staring at it for like three days at least, <laughs> and I haven't really been doing it, so I, like, I feel the energy, um, but I also know that if I would just get it done, it would be done. And so I, I kind of feel that energy for you here with the Eight of Pentacles. If you're sitting there staring at a blank page, right, I think that if you would just write that you would become successful. You know, I have a rule, at least for this tarot channel, right? I, every single day, no matter what, I do four videos, right? And it's great because if I get sick or something or if there's ever a day where I don't want to do things, I can take a day off, right? Because four pretty much always keeps me just a little bit ahead of my schedule. And um, so there are days where I don't want to do it. And on those days, I just say like, okay, just one video, right? And you know what? One video always turns into four because it's like once you kind of, you know, get the wheel spinning, uh, usually you will complete the project or you'll at least do whatever you have to do. So I have found even on the days where I don't want to do it, which is not very common, you know, for the most part, I want to be doing this. And, um, you know, so it's not very, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, I always say to myself, okay, like one video, just do one and, you know, see what happens. And I always get into the zone and I always end up doing all four, right? So I think that, you know, kind of just writing something on that blank sheet of paper would be a good idea. And with the Nine of Cups and the King of Cups, I'm wondering if there's love coming in for you this month. It's a very good month for love uh, for you. And, and again, I, you know, apparently I have to tell people that doesn't mean you're going to find love. You have to go do something to find it. Uh, but I also feel that there's either a need to, uh, you know, kind of process a separation or heartbreak. It doesn't even have to be a love heartbreak. It could be anything. You know, this could be from your childhood or something like that. And I feel that the Three of Swords really says there's a need to heal um, from whatever you've been through so that you can, you know, allow love into your life. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, you have the Nine of Pentacles. 
someone slow. <laughs> uh, I feel like someone has their eye on you intuitively, uh, but I also feel that they are being very slow in kind of like making a move towards you. Uh, I don't really see this as a bad thing necessarily, Pisces, um, but Knight of Pentacles is like playing it too safe, is being a little bit too cautious. Uh, so again, I feel like this person could just be, um, you know, like slowly moving towards you. It could be an earth sign, it could be any sign. Uh, you have the Ten of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups. Maybe you see love as a burden, right? I, so, you know, if you do want love, I feel like you have to change your mindset about love as well, especially with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups. And, you know, and I feel like if you change your mindset, uh, you will make things work just in general. So I would make sure you're thinking more positively. Uh, this would also be just very good for your work. You know, I, I do feel this is a very, very good um, work reading. We have love and prosperity showing up on that queen card. So I think that you are attracting both. The Ace of Cups would be your emotions overflowing, but it would also be you uh, doing something that you can do endlessly. Like, you know, perfect example is this. On the days where I don't want to do something, I do it and I always finish four because, you know, I channel from source. So I always have like 10 times more energy after I'm done with my readings, right? So it always makes me feel better. It's something, you know, it's something that I'm, you know, that causes my energy to overflow. And so a lot of you could be looking for a career or business or whatever you do that really flows. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have the Eight of Wands really weird. Like if you have a past person, it's like, I feel like that per past person, it's like maybe for a while, it's like you were moving in life together, but it's like, I just see you in, in your, in, in my head going like this. It's like, they're still here, but it's like, you're way over here. You know, I, I like, I feel like you've made um, some very quick progress or it's just like, you're not even the same anymore. You're not even close. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's kind of what I get on that eight of wands. It's like, you've made significant progress in your life. So I feel you need to realize that. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands. Yes, definitely guarded energy here. So even the Queen of Swords can be a little bit guarded. She has that sword up, right? And so if you are looking for love, I would definitely, you know, do something to open up or to be more available uh, or to make yourself available. This could include like getting out into public, meeting new people, stuff like that. Uh, with the Four of Swords, you have the Five of Pentacles. Again, healing from heartbreak. I'm wondering also... You know, what I'm wondering this direction here is I'm wondering if it's not you. Like, I, I wonder if you are, you know, again, take it how it resonates. You could, you could be the one that's ready. Uh, you, you know, this person might be moving very slow uh, because they're the one that's healing, in which case, again, I always suggest, you know, if you're going to be with a person, make sure that you're both healed because you can't enter into a relationship, you know, with one or two uh, broken people that never works out really well. So again, maybe there's a person who is healing, um, you know, going on here. I also feel that this could represent you praying for blessings like financially. And again, I do feel there are like blessings coming in financially. Can't make this up. With the two of swords, you have the high priestess. I told you, I really feel that it's almost like you are isolating yourself um, at, at times this month um, to tap into your intuition. I don't, I, and I don't think this is a bad thing either. You know, I think that this is probably a good thing that you are taking time to do this because you're tapping into your intuition. And like I said, I feel like that's a good thing, not a bad thing. Uh, with the Empress, you have the lovers. <laughs> yes, definitely love in this reading. I kind of got the, you know, of course it's kind of like a little bit obvious, but, um, you know, there's a lot of money stuff here as well, but I definitely feel this could be love or new love coming in for you. Uh, and um, yeah, it just looks really good. So I feel like, and even if you don't want love, that's coming up in the area of your future feelings. So you could just be feeling loved in the future. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, here you go. You have the Knight of Cups, which would be like a knight in shining armor. Uh, this person could have like water and earth in their chart. They could be a water or earth sign or whatever. Take it how it resonates. I feel like I, I like the Eight of Pentacles for love uh, because the Eight of Pentacles says that you're really attracting a person who is willing to kind of like put in the work or who will put in the work. So love it. You know, that looks good to me. Uh, you have this rooster card. It says, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. I would be careful of the past person here. Um, you know, again, I think that I just get the feeling that they kind of like blamed you for everything, even though it was like their fault. So, you know, again, I would be careful of a past person. Uh, you have this tulip card. It says, great passion. Uh, this is the only thing I would focus on this month if I were you, and I am. <laughs> so I would only focus on great passion, ace of cups twice not even talking about love. It's just saying, like, do the things that you are super passionate about. Remember what I said about the King of Cups as well. It's like, I think if you're focused on the worries and, you know, past people and all that other stuff, you're going to slow yourself down. I think if you focus on passion, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, um, you know, Eight of Pentacles, even Empress, that you're going to be much more successful. So I wouldn't even worry about that other stuff. 
Uh, you have this teardrops card. It says great personal sorrow. Yeah, again, again, I feel like there could be a past person, the jealousy card there um, that is kind of grieving the loss of this, but I don't know. Too bad, so sad, right? And, you know, especially if you're dealing with an adult. It's like, you know, it's it, I, I did readings last night um, with Scott Cruz and, um, you know, it's like, I, I get these re sometimes readings from people, and I'm not picking on anyone here, uh, but what I'm saying is, it's like someone, sometimes people will say to me, like, oh, you know, this person like wants me back, and they're, they've are they been super sad, and all this other stuff. I'm like, yeah, but they're an adult. It's like an adult understands consequences, and if they don't, then you definitely shouldn't be dealing with them if they don't understand consequences, but it's like if you're dealing with an adult, they understand that their actions have consequences. Too bad, so sad, is what I would say to your past person. Uh, you have this pig, it says, beware of greed. Yeah, I would be careful of greedy people or um, I, I'm also getting like inflexible people as well. So if, like if you're dealing with people who aren't flexible in work and biz in business or any area of your life, I would be careful of that. And uh, finally, you have this vulture. It says, depression, worry, anxiety that someone is against you. Yes, good reading, but you definitely got to get, <laughs> you have to get out of your head, right? You have that Medusa card. You know, when you think about it, she freezes things that she looks at or that look at her, right? And so I kind of get that feeling where it's like a really good month, as long as you kind of like focus on yourself, right? Focus on your intuition, focus on uh, passion and things that you're passionate about. Bring more passion into your life. Do more things that you are passionate about and things will go really well. But a pretty interesting reading. I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.